at Lakoka Falls. I'm talking louder, not because of the waterfall, but because there's about 200 high school graduates below us. So much for a relaxing day by the falls, am I right? This is actually where Christopher Columbus, where he had his first kiss. It's very romantic. It was right here. Here we are at the tower, El Tower of Yucatan. Yukahan? Something like that. Look at this. It's a tower. They used to, this used to be the main offices for the sugar cane managers. They would stay in here and have long breaks. Um, there's also a rock with a plaque on it that says 1980 uh, United States Department of Interior because this is part of America. We were about to get to the peak. He, ah, that's that was just a lizard. I'm not scared at all. I didn't want to scare him. We're headed to the peak, El Inque Trail Peak, also known as Sky Trail, or I mean, uh, uh, Cloud Trail. So we walk up into the clouds, and they say it's usually raining 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So we'll see you at the top. Get this lizard. Look at that little guy. Oh, you missed him. Ah, the fired. Here we are at the peak of El Yunque. We're in the clouds. We just passed Jane Goodall some gorillas in the mist. Look at it. It's just sweeping up here. I'm de-aging in this tropical paradise. Um, my pores have never been more clear than they are right now. We were just up there in that little castle thing. Um, it's an easy hike. Some, although some didn't cut that out. That's rude. Down here's the jungle. AKA rainforest. It's misty, like I said, it's always hot, rainy, and moist. The humidity is at 1000%. It smells good up here, like gardenias. And uh, it's majestic. Behind me is a giant cliff to the, is the uh, uh, rainforest. Um, I'm kind of just clenching, clenching, I'm clutching this rock right here so I don't roll off the edge. Not that I'm scared, because I'm not. Because it's just a canopy of palms. You'd probably be safe if you crashed and fell off from here. Feels like you're in a sauna. It's really nice. Two guys over here, and their joke was, hey, when you take a picture, this is what you should say on the picture. And the picture said, hey, we're in the clouds of Puerto Rico. Literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a joke. We're literally in the clouds in Puerto Rico. I've been saying we're in the clouds too. So here we are, the top of Puerto Rico, El Yunque Peak. So here we are at Cueva's Caves. We're going to walk down this path. There's going to be something called a window cave where you look out across the valley. Also, this is known to a very poisonous boa. That's a snake. And you know how I, I feel about safety? Right here. And we're like, oh, we're going to the caves. And they said, here's your hard hat. In case a falling rock or a boa lands on our head, we'll be safe. Also, remember to hydrate out here. We're starting. This was carved by ancient indigenous people to this area. They said they are the protectors of the cave. There's uh, several different types of bats in this cave. A fruit bat, one a Brazilian bat, and another bat. Oh, <sighs> cameraman, you missed it. Oh, we just learned it's the uh, Puerto Rican boa. It is not poisonous, but they're fun to cuddle. This part of the cave is called the temple. People have seen wondrous miracles occur here. Guys, we made it to 
the window cave. Above me is Matilda, the uh, San Juan boa. She eats bats, she dangles down, and then grabs a bat when they fly in. Cameraman, if you could also get the view. There's a river that's called the Rio Grande River. Um, there's cows. It's very beautiful. Ecocus Island. It's a mile long, a mile wide, and nothing but fun. Uh, people are out with their sunburns, their sunblock, or in some cases, a great tan. Our uh, catamarans over there are called Salty Dogs. Um, right now, people are practicing snorkeling for later in the day. For those who can't swim, you put on those yellow belts. I'm not a very good swimmer, but just out of pure pride reasons, I won't be wearing one. Um, it's beautiful. Here comes uh, Pitbull on a, uh, a wave runner. He likes to come out here a lot. Uh, there's the island of Puerto Rico. Right behind me, if you can see in the very far distance, is a lighthouse. It's the second oldest lighthouse in Puerto Rico. You know, you know what a lighthouse does. It helps uh, people see land. And then out here is a big break. There's a reef. Reef? Reef? Just kidding, a reef. It's so pretty out and the water is so blue. It's El Zul. <laughs> Sun, but I stepped on an anthill while setting up the shot. This is what I like to call the dine, dance, and ditch. <laughs> 